Hey guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Thanks for all the great comments about certain rooms and stuff like that. I'm really not trying to get too far ahead until the game kind of gives it to me. We'll get plenty creative as we go. Right now we're keeping it simple based on what the game gives us. But we're starting to get some more recipes and y'all were telling me that if you go to the Builderpedia, it shows you what you have. So some of the things that I missed uh, when we were... Um, when we leveled up last time was stuff like this padded floor for instance and a few of the other recipes that we've got like ladders and stuff and as we go there was some more decorative items that we can make there was some of the uh what was it i believe yeah yeah like we've got this cloth sacks for instance and towel rails there's a bunch of different things we could get into but anyway we've got a fight to check out right now and I don't, I'm pretty sure they're going to prompt us to make some preparations, but I figured that I would try to give some of these swords away, and it is giving me the option to give some away if I go around. So it says give to Clayton. So we gave a stone sword to him. We can give to Gregarious the Granger, and I believe Brittany can use one as well. Brittany already had one. There might have been somebody else that we can give to. None of these guys. The worm can't use it. This other guy can't use it. Give to Clayton, Gregarious, and this other guy. Okay, so we still got one of them that um, that we can't give away yet, but that's fine. Let's talk to uh, let's talk to Mauro. I can smell when a fight's brewing, Zuljin, and this whole place stinks of it. I don't know if it's the tree you've grown or that bell that you keep ringing, but something's got the monsters in a seriously bad mood. We need to kit out everyone who can fight with the best weapons we can build. And that includes me, okay? So, are we ready to bash some baddies? Yes! Don't worry about the town getting damaged. We can always repair once the fighting is finished. Just concentrate on teaching those rotters a lesson. Not a problem. Now, let's get out of here and cause some carnage. Whoo! It is kind of a boss fight. Let the battle commence. Defeat the enemy. Oh, it's, it's the imp, y'all. It's the imp. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's get started, shall we? Oh, you gotta watch those sleep spells, those little blue orbs. Okay, base integrity is still 100% too. Oh, that was a good attack. It's chaos right here. That's a pretty good lick. All right, let's eat a few cabbages. I cooked some cabbages in preparation for this too. I just hadn't eaten them all. There we go. I knew I'd end up eating them for the battle if we had one. Beautiful. Alright, base integrity is fine. All three, baby. Oh my god, look at the spam going on. Beautiful. Charge. <gasps> In the name of this... This is a big old skeleton, bro. As long as I can stay on him like this... Eating them booties like groceries. He's about to... Oh! <laughs> Alright. Time to eat a few more cabbages, I think. Real quick. Real quick. Hop, 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 hop. Alright. Everybody's still doing really good on health, actually. I think this is the last dude, man. Oh! Oh! All right, get away, get away, get away, get away. And jump attack. Oh, oh, just just in the last second, I missed him. Yeah, we leveled up from that, baby. Sweet. Marath gets stronger and Zul'jin reaches level 5. Maximum hit points increase. And I figured out something to build. Barbed blade. Oh, pointed protrusions. Attack 28. I imagine that's just for me, though. And it's raining again now. Victory! Smack! <laughs> Very nice. Everyone, are you... Is everyone all right? <laughs> what is... Wait, what it to, what's it to you? These monsters were from the children of Hargon. Called your friends over, didn't you? I knew it. Now that we've done everything is needed to do to grow the deer tree, you don't need us anymore. You want us all dead. I don't think that's the case. 
The pastor's been here with us the whole time. Even if he wanted to, he couldn't have passed the message to the monsters. He also said we still need to do more to keep the theater growing. If that's true, why would he want us dead? It doesn't make sense. <sighs> Your name is Rosie, yes? Tell me, Rosie, why are you so desperate to see Furrowfield Farm rebuilt? Why, well, it's just always been my dream, I suppose. I see. Everyone did great today. Let's leave any talk of task or missions until tomorrow. I think we've all had enough excitement for one day. I'm going to sleep with my head resting on a pillow of wheat under a warm blanket of cabbage leaves. <laughs> and I expect you all to do the same, Zuljan. It's the Furrowfield way. I am not sleeping in cabbage, girl. No way, no how. Okay? Alright. We did good, though. We did good. I'm happy with our little progress. I wish it would stop raining, but hey. So, this deer tree thing. Still got a way to go, right? That said, it's come a long way already. When it first appeared, it was nothing more than a weedy sapling. Just goes to show how powerful your building skills are. And then, there's the children of Hargon mob. What do you think their deal is, Zuljan? Huh? You heard that Hargon has already been defeated by the Scions of Erdrich? And his forces were scattered to the winds? I did that. <laughs> That's weird. They still seem to be in charge around here. There's something fishy going on in the island. The thing that gets me the most is everyone saying that builders bring destruction and despair. What's the story behind all that? You too. What do you gain in waking so early if you only proceed to waste the day with idle chatter? There's still more work that needs to be done in order for the deity to return to her full strength. Come and hear what you must do. Oh, we got new quest now. New quest. Before we begin, Builder, tell me what are your thoughts about young Rosie? Her cheery outlook and irresi wait, irrepressible optimism make it all but impossible for me to maintain my dark and brooding to me. <laughs> and so, it's for her sake as much as my own that I ask you to tackle these next tasks. Come, my vassals, gather around. Well, the worm just popped up. But first, allow me to offer my apologies for the recent attack. Mm -hmm. What? Know that I did not call for my allies to strike. However, the very fact that I'm here may well have... Huh? Everyone, look at the sky! Uh-oh. Is this... Hmm. Spall spores? I knew it. Hey, isn't that one of the whatchamacallits? Oh no. In our crops, y'all. It's a spall spore. And there's one over there, and one over there too. Where'd all these blimey spall spores come from all of a sudden? What's going on with the sky? Has a weird wind got something to do with it? Alas, it seems the ill wind blows over Furrowfield once more. It has been some time since it last cursed these lands. This accursed storm is the source of the spall spores. It was by this wind that so much of the soil in the island was ruined. Now, hang on a minute. Do you mean to say this stupid storm's gonna muck up all our hard work? But everything was going so well, we can't let these horrible spall spores destroy our dreams. We have to do something. The spall spores breathe in air around them and convert it to vile vapor. When they explode, the noxious, the noxious gas will be fouls, which befouls the earth around them. And if we stop them from breathing in air, it would they wither away without doing any damage? Perhaps. I don't know of any manner of stopping the wind itself, but Zuljin help with Zuljin's help we may be able to destroy its evil fruit. Mmm. You have to try, Zuljin. There are five spall spores in the swarm. Block them in on every side to stop them from breathing. Oh, okay. So let's take out our um, let's take out our good our our, our good building materials here. Um, <coughs> the, the the spoiled soil maybe. Okay, we'll take that out. Okay, blocked it in. I wonder if we can go on top too. 
Yep. Worked. Did it work? Yes. <laughs> it sure did. I wonder if we only have to go on, um... Rosie. Uh-oh. She can't get up and... Oh my goodness, it worked. Small Swords is completely gone. You're amazing, Zul'jin. These rotten things have caused so much suffering, it's hard to believe that we could have destroyed them so easily. If only we had a builder. I did, all I use is dirt, y'all. That's not building. That's dirtin'. I'm not a dirter. I'm a builder. There's still four of them left, though. We have to destroy them all. No problem. And what kind of seed did we get? A wheat seed. All right. So I wonder if there's an easier way to do this. Like, if we could just go around one deep. Like so. Yep. Sure enough. And much less to uh much less to destroy that way. Alright, last one here. If I can hit it right. <laughs> Alright. Yippee! That's it. That's all of them. Thank you so much, Sultan. Now if only we could do something about this ill wind. But at least we got rid of the small spores. Come on, let's go and tell the pastor. Alright. Alright, Pastor, we did it. Every last one of them small spores has been eradicated, you say? My understanding is correct then. Look, everyone, look at the sky. It's going away. Weird. Nice, the ill wind's gone. Grumbling, grumbling, soldier, you did it, and not a single square inch of our precious soul was spoiled. <laughs> Very good indeed, Zul'jin. Your skills as a builder are remarkable. We, the children of Horgon, brought ruin to Furrowfield. We destroyed the deity that life might never flourish here again. We forbode, we forbade humans from building and commanded them to join the reducing those buildings that were still standing to rubble. To an incarnation of destruction like myself, it seemed the only logical course of action. But then I saw the fragile sapling. Deitri reborn, and the irresistible force of life within it. When I saw the tree and the wonders you brought forth, young builder, I was forced to reconsider whether this was truly the right course. Yeah, I remember you said you had a change of heart. I shall aid you, Zul'jin, in your quest to restore the Deitri to its former power. I have the necessary knowledge, but in return, I wish to witness more of your building prowess. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> can you believe this, Zul'jin? This building thing is pretty popular, even with the pastor of the children of Horkon is impressed. Hear me, builder. The ill wind may blow again before the deity is full grown. Should it do so, you must destroy the small spores that bring, lest the undo all our work. Alright. So, about the other stuff you needed to do as far as the deity. Come on, spill the beans. Hmm, very well. Alright, I shall tell you what must be done. Listen well. So, sowing the seeds of success part two. What? You must grow five different varieties of crops. But that's not all. These five fold crops must cover a total of 250 squares of soil with the farming with within the farm's boundaries. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> You may need to research <laughs> to search the island thoroughly to find the different types of seeds you will require. Five different crops, we've already got cabbages and wheat, so that means we'll need to find three more kinds of seeds. There are a great number of seeds hidden throughout the land. I suggest you work together and seek them out. What's the matter, Zul'jin? Is there something you want to say? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of work. What? You think it's time I officially joined your fellowship? Do you not know who I am? I can never join forces with this despicable builder. I wash my hands of this whole sorry affair right here and now. I jest, I jest. I would be glad to join you. <laughs> hey, the past is one of us now. If I'm to become a member of your village, I should introduce myself more properly. My name is Al, and I'm the pastor of this island. You may call me Pastor Al. Or how about Altruistic Al? No, I think perhaps it's best stick with Pastor. Pastor Al joins Furrowfield team. Holy crap. We done converted. We converted him, y'all. We converted him. <laughs> we got a little cult going on here. A little farming cult. 
Yippee, Pastor Al is officially a builder. I'm so happy. The people of Furrowfield used to hold a great big festival when they harvested their crops. I think we should do the same when we finish growing the deer tree. A harvest festival? I got no idea oh, Wait, what one of those is, but it sounds fun. But before we can start thinking about that, we'll have to find the different seeds we need. So let's get cracking. All right. Let the mission begin. So, this farming setup, holy crap. So, the first thing that we need to do, it says we need 50, right? 50 of each crop and of five different varieties. 79 of 250 just means, I think that the 29 is wheat because cabbages we must have enough of, right? We just must. Okay. Let's plant these wheat seeds. We're going to have to redo our farms. But first, we've got to find... We've got to make sure that we have plenty of... Um, is there some barking going on? There's a freaking dog right here. I thought I heard that. Y'all must have been saying, uh, Z. There is a dog barking in the background. Do you not hear that? So, Zuljan, any ideas how we're going to find some more seeds? Aside from the wheat and the cabbages we already have, we need to find three more kinds. If only we had a furfield retriever. These dogs... <laughs> well, well, there, there just happens to be one right here. Uh, has the best sense of smell of anything alive. They'd be able to sniff out some seeds in a jiffy. Woof! What? How long has she been there? Just a couple minutes, actually. <laughs> huh? Is there something over there? I bet she's going to lead us to the seeds we need. I can't just be a coincidence that she arrived exactly when we needed her. The deer tree must have summoned her to help us. Chances are a fine thing. Chance would be a fine thing. What do you say, Zuljin? Shall we go and take a look? Heck yeah! Woof woof! Alright. So... Are you just gonna come with us? Okay. Yeah, lead on, puppy. Lead on, puppy. If I get the chance to name you, I got the perfect name for you. Okay. We going after Malroth, don't you worry about it. Where are you taking this puppy doll? When you got four lo oh! She barks at the monsters too, it's like the little dog in Kingdom. Oh, a cave, hello. Hello. Ah, uh, it's a secret passage. And there's more, uh, oh! There's another teleport thing over here. Whoa! Check it out, Zuljin. This place is completely different from the rest of the island. Oh, yeah. Some kind of marsh. I bet we can find all sorts of new stuff here. Let's take a look around. I wonder if this was always here. <laughs> hey, what's that? There's a grubby little rat over there. Let's make him tell us all about this place. And look at this. Uh-huh. You know, some of the recipes that I was looking at in that Builderpedia had these things to make like the, the carpeted floors or whatever that's exactly what's going on oh and we have some new creatures over there it looks like too also bramble ouch bramble but we can harvest it just in case we need some i'll grab some okay let's talk to everybody over here shall we what are you doing at the ball? Squeak, what's a human doing here? Going on a picnic, are you? That'd explain the grin. This is for a field ball. You don't want to get lost here, so I suggest you touch this navel globe before heading further in. The fat rats and bodkins around here won't give you any trouble. In fact, if we're having trouble if you're having trouble, it can't hurt to chat with one and see what they have to say. Alright. We'll get this sucker. And we got the navel globe. Now I can warp to the banks of the bog. Alright, puppy doll. Ouch. Man, these things are kind of strong. Okay, we're going to kill some of this stuff too. Oh, look, there's a cloud or something over there. Come on, doggy. I wonder if we get the same kind of wood from those things. And another passage. Oh. Oh, it's people down here. It's damsels. Eek, who are you? Woo, woo. Oh, hello there. 
I shared my lunch with you once. Did you lead these people to save us? Well, this is just great. We trudge all the way out here and we don't even find any seats. Just a couple of scruffy looking girls. I beg your pardon. I think that you'll find we're ladies, not girls, and rather lovely ladies, too, if I do say so myself. <laughs> the children of Horgon threw us down in this ghastly hole. They told us we had to reflect on our sins. But that was days ago, and we've been stuck here ever since. I know that cooking is wrong. I know I shouldn't have done it, but I was ever so hungry. Say, who are you, gentlemen, and what do you do? Mmm. Oh. My, you say you're a builder and you're f building a farm with your friends? No, 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 no. I never heard such heresy. The children of Horkon will never allow it. <laughs> Looks like we've got another couple of true believers on our hands. Let's take them back to the farm and turn them into builders like that other guy. Oh, what fun. That does sound like a lark. My name is Lillian and this is, this is my sister, Saffron. Oh, God. <laughs> We'd be more than delighted to follow you back to the farm. If you use your map, you can warp us all there in a jiffy. Yes, I know. I know. Okay, Saffron joins the party. And Lillian joins the party. So, where's the seeds? You know I gotta... You know I gotta get this, guys. Uh-huh. We might make the pastor a room with all this... <laughs> with all this stuff. Alright. Oh. Well... I'm glad I uh, jumped down here. I'm glad I didn't... Uh, oh, you know what? We could have probably mined in the floor. Yeah, we sure could have. So, there was... And, and this stuff you can mine too. But we've already got the, the method to get out here. Everybody out. Single file. Doggies too. Doggies and everybody. Oh, we could have just warped. That's what they had said in the first place. But I just wanted to prove that we could get out. Okay? <laughs> I just wanted to challenge ourselves. Okay. Hit the map. And... Furrowfield Farm. Let's work. And I know some of these episodes are incredibly dialogue heavy, guys. I'm sorry. I try to keep them at a watchable length so everybody can enjoy them. Alright. Where am I? Why did I get here? And why was I punching the air? <laughs> this must be your farm, Zuljan. It's simply marvelous. You all I must have worked so hard to build it. It's almost enough to bring a tear to my eye. Whatever you say, Lillian, this is a hot tub, a hot bed of heresy. I like a hot tub of heresy better. Didn't Don't let this builder deceive you. Oh, tush. As far as I'm concerned, the children of Horgon can go rot. I intend to live here, become a builder, and eat until I'm jolly well fit to pop. I'd like, to have, I'd like you to have these, Zuljan. I found them in the bog. They smelt nice, so I kept a hold of them. Consider them a symbol of inevitable friendship. Sugarcane seedlings. That's what I'm talking about. We can make some sweet tea now. Sweet tea. Saffron and Lillian take up residence in Furrowfield Farm. Nice. So we got a couple new ladies and a new type of seed. All right. Oh, we got some big hearts there. Big, big hearts. Okay. First things first, we are planting these cane. And no, I know what you're thinking. Z, you gonna make the own, your own cane field yet? No. I gotta do some redesigning, y'all. I gotta, I gotta cut down a lot of stuff. You understand? There's some leveling that I have to do. I have to move all kind of stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the buildings yet. I don't know what the radius is, like when we get out of town or not. It, it's, I think it's like right here yeah so this is around the spot where it is not bad not bad we got we got quite a bit of way to work here and what am i doing messing around with this i could just smack the bail right here and just get eight more hearts okay all right let's finish up the episode by talking to our friend rosie zuljan is that what i think it is it is it's a new kind of plant why aren't you more excited our new canine companion is earning her keep, <laughs> earning, earning her keep already. She found us some new seedlings and some new friends. Okay, Rosie, you can stop your head now. Lillian must have found these sugarcane seedlings sprouting in the furrow field bog. I bet you could find more of them if there, if you looked hard enough. Woof. And it sounds like our four-legged friend wants to help too. That's great news. It means, wait, 
Doggy? Rex? Fido? Spot? Or Duchess? Duchess? Doggington? She's gone. Does she want to help or doesn't she? It's as if she's in her own world. How can we convince her to help us? <laughs> if you wish to gain the allegiance of an animal, there's no better way than a pat on the head. Even in natural awareness towards humans cannot survive uh, cannot survive a good pet. A good pat. I got you. I thought I said a good pet. Provided you can get with padding, within padding distance without provoking their ire. Approaching from behind where the creature cannot see you and walk quietly. Do not run. It's, all, it's worth a try. I'm hopeless at sneaking, though. I'm going to leave this in your capable hands, Uljin. Go on, pat the dog. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> we have to do everything around here. We builders, cooks, tamers, everything. Okay. So we go slowly here. Slowly, 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 slowly. Stroke. <laughs> hey, hey! Boy, if you only knew my background, doggy, I'm, a, I'm an old school animal tamer at heart. We tame stuff in Ark all the time. We didn't even need a trinket. This was a passive tame. A dog joins Zuljin's team. No name? No name? Woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. I think she's taking a liking to you, Zuljin. Woof. Ha, <laughs> she's even got your moves. So, what are we going to call her? Let's see. What would you... What would a good name for you be? Hmm? I've got it. From now on, girl, your name is Ghoul Beast? No. Death Jackal. Hmm. <laughs> no. You name me, Z. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mrs. Miss Higgins, if I do if I do presume. Do we have room for it? Oh man. I'm not gonna be able to 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 do it all the way uh h i g instead of g g i n s i'm just gonna put i n s miss higgins <laughs> that was um if y'all don't know miss higgins is my i had a uh four schnauzers and all of them have already passed but miss higgins was my first schnauzer that i ever owned and it's some of the most amazing memories i have with her so meet miss higgins y'all Hey, what about my ideas? I suppose we could do a lot worse than Miss Higgins, though. In fact, I kind of like it. Woof! <laughs> okay, have it your way. You're old friend now, Miss Higgins. And friends stick together, so stay close. Oh, it feels so natural saying that, too. Woof! <laughs> Big hearts. Nice. Amazing. Girl, you clapping. You clapping, ain't you? You did it, Zuljin. You tamed the dog. Woof! Tee <laughs> hee Looks like Miss Higgins is eager to help out now. And now that they've got a Furrowfield Retriever on board, our seed searching expedition can begin in earnest. I know. Why don't we put together a special seed searching squad to find the new seeds we need? Obviously, you'd be the squad leader, Zuljin. Miss Higgins can be your guide, and Pastor Al and I can be in charge of strategy and logistics. Did he just hock up a loogie? Hmm, what about Maroth, you ask? Hmm, I don't know. He could be in charge of hitting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he likes that. Maroth is a beast, man. Don't worry about the fields for now. The rest of the villagers can tend to them in the time being. You need to get out there and find those seats. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. The game kind of hurries it along. Get, get out of the way of village and go do stuff. All right, Zuljin, it's time for the special seed searching squad to start their first mission. I think the best place to start is finding more sugarcane seedlings. We need a few more than a handful that you got from Lillian, don't you think? There are bound to be some more seedlings in the Furrowfield Bog buried under the soil. If anyone can sniff them out, Miss Higgins can. The hound will run ahead when she catches a scent. Dig in places where she barks to find what you seek. But be warned, sugarcane is not so easily grown, and I would recommend against planting any seedlings you find for the moment at least. Uh-oh. What? Then what are we supposed to do with them? Hmm. Fear not, my child. I shall tell you what I mu must be done when the time is right. But before the seedlings can be grown, there's a particular tool you will need to acquire. Welp. <laughs> we messed up already then. My servant is minding it. Speak with him, and he will provide you with a pot that should prove invaluable. Off you go then, Zuljin. Head to Furrowfield Bog and search for, let's say, 25 sugarcane seedlings. And pick up that pot of owls too while you're there. 
All right, we got a new destination on the map, and we've got three of the 25 seedlings. I think we can get these back. Ah, oh. girl, I was about to say. I was about to say. Thank goodness we could just get those back. I, I bet you were already typing a comment, huh? <laughs> Guys, that is going to be it for this episode. We've gone already about 30 minutes. I hope you all really enjoyed it. If you did, give us some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time. Come on, Maroth. Break it down.